Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Farhan Ahmad Kote. I am third year junior resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Dr. Ullas Patil Medical College and Hospital, Jargaon, Maharashtra. My topic for paper presentation is to evaluate role of magnetic resonance imaging in avascular necrosis of femoral head. Introduction: Avascular necrosis or osteonecrosis is defined as cellular death of bone due to decreased blood supply, which can, which can be due to wide variety of causes. Infarction first starts as blood supply to the bone is interrupted. Once the infarction sets in, there is central necrosis, which is surrounded by peripheral ischemic zone. Beyond this zone lies the normal fibrous bone marrow tissue. Uh, various factors causing avascular necrosis have been identified, which interrupt the blood supply to affected bone and part of it. Avian of femoral head is most common among the affected sites of avian, presumably because of its precarious blood supply and high loading during standing. Risk factors, trauma, alcohol abuse, corticosteroids, pancreatitis, sickle cell disease, infiltrative diseases, radiation. Aims and objective to study the stage of presentation of avascular necrosis of femoral head in magnetic resonance imaging. To analyze the role of magnetic resonance imaging in patients with avascular necrosis of femoral head. Staging of avascular necrosis of femoral head as per Picat and Arlet classification. Materials and methods. Descriptive study of affected patients who were clinically diagnosed with avascular necrosis of femoral head and referred for MRI of the both hip joints to the Department of Radio Diagnosis. These patients were subjected to screening over 1.5 Tesla Siemens machine. T1, T2, star, and gradient echo sequences were applied in multiple planes. Inclusion criteria clinically suspected avian of femoral head. Patient who gave informed consent to the study. Patient with a history of trauma and suspected to have avian exclusion criteria, patient who refused to participate, and patient with contraindication to MRI like cardiac pacemakers, ferromagnetic implant, claustrophobia. As per well, PCAT and RLAT stage 1, there is a bone marrow edema, as we can see in this T1 coronal and T2 axial image. In stage 2, there are geographic areas of altered signal intensity and double line sign. In left femoral head, we can see double lines and in this T1 and T2 coronal images. In right femoral head, we see the geographic areas of altered signal intensity with vertical collapse where it has been close to stage 3. In stage 3, there is a crescent sign with cortical collapse as seen in this coronal star and D2 sequence in both the femoral heads. In stage 4, all the signs were stage 3 with the secondary degenerative changes in surrounding acetabulum and femur as seen in this T1 and T2 coronal images. Staging of avian as per Ficat and earlier classification, patient presented in stage 1 where 2, in stage 2, 25 patients, in stage 3, 13 stage 4, 10. So, most of the patient presented in stage 2 and 3. MRI findings were double line sign in 34 patient, bone marrow edema in 28, joint diffusion in 25, reduced joint size in 16, loss of contour in 23. So, double line sign was the most common finding. Gender distribution, about 74% of patients were male. 26% of the patients were female. Laterality of the avian in affected sites, about 80% of the cases were bilateral. Discussion total 50 patients were studied. There was a male pre predominance with about 60 to 65% of the patients being male. Avian was bilateral in most of the cases, with alcohol consumption being the most common causative factor. Most patients presented in a stage 2 as well as an earlier classification. Double line sign was the most common MR finding, MR finding in uh, studied cases. Avascular necrosis of femoral head is a common form of musculoskeletal instability at a hip joint. During early stages of avian, patient may remain asymptomatic, posing challenge for a clinician, making MR imaging indispensable for early diagnosis and management. Staging as per PCAT and earlier classification, stage 0, plain radiograph MRI are normal with no significant clinical symptoms. In stage 1, radiograph may be normal or a minor osteopenia may be seen. MRI findings are bone marrow edema, clinically patient present with pain, typically at groin. In 
stage 2 plain radiograph showed mixed osteopenia with or without sclerosis or a subchondral cyst without any subchondral lucency mri showed geographical defect clinically patient present with pain and stiffness in stage 3 there is a crescent sign with eventual cortical collapse mri is the same as plain radiograph clinically there is a pain and stiffness with or without radiation to knee and patient may have a limping in stage 4 plain radiograph shows end stage disease with evidence of secondary degenerative changes in surrounding bones mri same as a radiograph clinically patient present with pain and limp other classifications michel classification steinberg classification arco classification conclusion mri is indispensable for early detection and accurate staging of avian of femoral head it can depict the size site of the lesion which is helpful in estimating stage of the disease thus over the years mri has become the most sensitive and specific imaging modality for evaluation of avian of femoral